Hi, Dr. Introduce yourself. I don't think we have met before. Uh, yes, sir. We have not met before. But uh, hello. How are you, sir? Hi. Thank you. I am fine. Very well. Thank you. My name is Shashwat Ray, and uh, I don't think we've met. But uh, sometimes, when I'm in the mood, I teach ophthalmology. Oh, Tell okay. me about yourself. Uh, hi, I'm uh, I'm Aishwarya. Uh, I've studied my MBBS from Hubei University of Medicine. And I live in Mumbai, Maharashtra. And I have I scored. Uh, I have scored two zero two marks uh, in my first wow. attempt uh, in a wow, July two thousand twenty three. That's amazing, uh, Ashwara, because two zero two in a particularly difficult exam and with ten percent results is a very good uh, result. You know, and uh, congratulations once more. And uh, very good too from Ashwara. So you've now become Doctor Ashwara. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. So. Uh, I would like to ask you because you know what is that preparation that you did? This is your first attempt, and yeah. uh, two hundred two is a whopping good score. So, is there any uh, hints you would like to, or tips you would like to tell us to share to our other students? Uh, any particular only, preparation? Yeah, the only tip I would like to tell is the number of revisions I have done. That's that's Wonderful. the only key to my uh, getting this marks is the number of revisions. Because the thing is, you actually you gradually forget many things normally. The, we study today, and the next day, if we open the book, we don't know what is what did we study yesterday. But this thing, I made a point. I have to remember this. So I've uh, I've done many revision as possible. So uh, revision, I always say, is the key to everything. Revision, revision, revision. So suppose I were to ask you, say, for a, a big subject like medicine or surgery. How many revisions did you have, or uh, you think is essential for you to answer questions? Uh, especially like around seven to eight times. For a big subject, or is it for every yeah. subject that you're talking about? Uh, uh, the, the thing is, for big subjects, normally for every subject, like seven to eight times. But big big subjects, at least four times, you have to revise. Correct. I would say that. I mean, I always say that for ophthalmology. You should require at least three to four revisions. I usually say, exactly. you know? yeah. and uh, but uh, and would you suggest that uh, where did you study from? I mean, what uh, what books or what apps that you use specifically? So we would like to share to our students also yeah. any particular uh, apps or books. Mainly, I studied. Actually, I took an offline classes from Delhi, and I studied from that only. Otherwise, it's just the offline classes which I'll give the credits for. Okay, so wonderful. And what about MCQs? Did you solve MCQs also, or you just read the notes and that was enough? No, no. With the notes, I will also say MCQs is also very important. So I have also done MCQs a lot. I've solved a lot and lot of questions. So, uh, according to you, why is the result not so good this time? Ten percent. You know, last time was almost thirty percent results, if I remember correctly. And this is a steep fall from thirty percent. To ten percent. According to you, what do you think uh, you the result is so poor for? What is your own opinion about that? Uh, if you'll ask me about the paper that I gave, uh, gave in July, I'll say it was moderate to tough. The questions now they are not very uh, one-liner questions. They are asking more deep, more integrated, and that's what knowledge we have. We should know now if we want to crack this exam. Correct. I would say that. Yes, I think so because the paper seems to be getting intuitively more difficult now and more conceptual. So its one-liners are hardly, I would say, about ten to twenty percent of questions left now. So we have to correlate everything. And uh, any any particular advice you would like to tell your juniors, your students falling behind you? Something apart from revision, which of course is the core. But for revision, you need to have vision at least. You understand? Exactly. You can only revise. You can only revise something if you already know it. Vision is important, yeah. is it not? So, anything particular you would like to say to your friends and juniors who have not been as lucky as some of you? First, I'll tell them to set a goal that yeah, I want this much marks. I have to. I want this much. That's the only goal they have to set, and then they have to, uh, you know, they have to do some schedule. Like they have to give a timetable. They have to do. They have. They have to keep a particular time for revision. They have to keep a particular time for question answers, so they need to keep. They need to as a uh, schedule all these things and then go according to that, which can help them for the future exams. That that sounds good. You know, that sounds a very good advice that you should keep your revision 
your MCQ time separately. So uh, that sounds good to me. And so that's all I think I should have so wonderful talking to you. And yeah. uh, my friends, you please, those who are watching this interview uh, with Dr. Ashwarya, please take a note of this. That revision, revision, revision is the key. And uh, some of you who have not been so lucky in this particular exam, please do not lose heart. You know, it goes up and down every time. Renew your efforts, do better. Thank you very much, Dr. Ashwarya for sitting with us and sharing your viewpoints. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure for me. Thank you. Great. Wonderful. Take care. All the best.